Ah, it's so nice to get out of the big city and come to a place like this, with cool, crisp air and the scent of pine trees. We're in the Cuyamaca Mountains, the historic gold mining town of Julian, only about an hour east of San Diego. A good place to start is the Julian Town Hall. It's got public bathrooms out in the back. Up here, there's a bunch of handouts that provide a self-guided walking tour and other information on specific areas of interest. We can't do everything, but the walking tour of historic sites sounds good. Well, there's our first historic artifact. <laughs> Julian is well known for its homemade pies, and there are several establishments in town that will sell them to you. We'll try a slice of apple pie at one of them later on. But in the meantime, let's pop in here real quick and try not to look too conspicuous. Ah, Jack's Grocery. This building is on the walking tour. It was originally the F.A. DeLuca store from 1890. Frank DeLuca, Italian immigrant, built this general store featuring fresh produce. This building has continuously housed a grocery store for more than 100 years. I'll read the rest of the inscription as we walk through the store. As soon as we finish eavesdropping on their conversation. Okay. A cold spring struck in the excavation spawned a cellar saloon. Julian voted dry in 1902 under local option law. The popular saloon thereafter sold only, quote, cider, tonic, and medicine, unquote. DeLuca was accused at the urging of the Anti-Saloon League of illegally selling spiritous liquors. He was acquitted by sympathetic jurymen. He sold out and retired in 1912. And here we have the Julian Mercantile store. I don't want to interrupt their conversation. The Cider Mill store. I walked by here earlier and it looks like a pretty cool store selling apple cider that they press themselves and other locally sourced items. 
There are several apple orchards in this whole area, and Julian is, in addition to pies, also known for apple picking and cider production. Yeah, kind of touristy, but also a lot of fun. Turning now from Main Street onto B Street. By the way, I am not sponsored by any of the businesses that I might visit or mention in this walk. In fact, I'm not sponsored by anybody. The elevation of Julian is about 4,200 feet or 1,300 meters above sea level. So it's quite a bit cooler up here than in the lowlands closer to San Diego. There's the Catholic Church. It feels like it's in the low to mid 40s Fahrenheit right now. Let's walk across this empty lot to check out the terrain. With its higher elevation, Julian gets more precipitation than much of Southern California, which has a general Mediterranean climate. I'm reading that Julian averages 28 inches of rain and 24 inches of snow each year. I didn't realize I got that much snow. The building that we are approaching is the California Wolf Center, which is an organization that promotes restoring wolf populations in the wildlands of California. We are coming up to another building on the historical walking tour. This is Kathy's Dress Shop, which was formerly the residence of Alvin Phineas Frary, who came to Julian in the 1870 gold rush and with his father developed the rich Stonewall Mine.
The historic McKinney Building houses a bank and some other businesses. Here's the Julian Jail. This concrete structure was built in 1914, and earlier wooden versions on the property dated to the 1870s. Let's walk up the hill for a block or two before we head back down Main Street.
We're back on Main Street. This restaurant on the right was Frank DeLuca's house. We went inside his general store earlier. It's interesting how these historical buildings have been repurposed today for shops, restaurants, B&Bs, and, and the like. The Julian Gold Rush Hotel was originally the Robinson Hotel built in 1897. And it's the oldest continuing operating hotel in Southern California. It's listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Getting back to the repurposing of buildings for a minute, it reminds me of my college geography courses where we learned a concept called sequent occupants. And that describes how geographic regions, or in this case, individual properties, are occupied and used by different people or different civilizations through time. But that's a discussion that's a little too esoteric for a YouTube video. So we'll leave it there. The Wilcox Building from 1872 is the oldest commercial building in Julian. It's been a general store, post office, a stagecoach stop, and a telephone exchange. And today, well, it's a gift shop with a QR code sign in the window selling goat milk skin products. There, now that's an example of sequent occupants from a rough and ready gold mining town to goat milk skin products in 120 years. Let's move on. Here's the Julian Cafe and Bakery. We can take a quick swing through here, quick enough to be inconspicuous with the camera, I hope. Here's a few more tourist-oriented stores occupying the W.F. Cole building.
So these are all our selections right here. Oh, those look amazing, don't they? Folks, if you come to Julian, they won't let you leave without taking a pie home. Miner's Diner occupies this original brick building, which was formerly the Levi and Marks Mercantile, dating back to 1886. Across the street is the Jacoby General Store. And according to the HMDB, that's the Online Historical Marker Database, the original building burned down in 1996 and was uh, rebuilt as a near replica. So we're going to walk up Washington Street here because there's a hotel up there that I wanted to check out. It looked like a pretty nice property online, so let's see what it looks like in person. The residential population of Julian is only about 1,500 people. As you'd probably guess, the local economy is almost completely based on tourism and agriculture. Just driving here on narrow and windy two-lane roads from the San Diego metro region does give you a feeling of remoteness. Oh, and I made a couple of videos of my drive up here. So if you want to check those out, I'll leave links in the description below. The hotel is called the Orchard Hill Country Inn. Let's go try to find the entrance. There's the American Legion Hall. It's right up here.
beautiful grounds and very peaceful here at this hotel. I think this is one of the pricier hotel accommodations in or around Julian, but it appears to be a really nice place and easy walking distance to the center of town. We're back in town now on Washington Street and turning onto 4th. This schoolhouse from the 1880s is the current home of the Julian Historical Society. There's some pleasant Italian music emanating from Fat Anthony's Delicatessen. Hopefully I won't need to remove it during editing to avoid any copyright issues. No traffic signals here in Julian, just a few stop signs, and even those are hardly needed at all. All right, I've had a busy day driving, walking, and even hiking in the nearby mountains. So don't you think I deserve a slice of Julian apple pie? I'll go with the original and a cup of coffee, please. That's seven dollars again. And you'll be getting more cookie too. Just wait inside, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you.
Well, as we sit here in the crisp mountain air to have some hot coffee and julienne apple pie, I think you'll enjoy my drive from Julian up to the open space preserve where I took my hike this morning. The link is on your screen. Thanks for watching and ciao.